I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thursday morning, Brahmins. We hope everybody is having a fabulous week. You know what my announcement is already. I'm sure you're saying it with me. Where's your ID? So, main campus, we have given you this entire week to work to find your ID, to get a new one, whatever the case is. I see a lot of them out. We appreciate that. Remember, it doesn't have to be around your neck. I know not everybody likes to wear it around their neck. It can be attached to your backpack. It can be in your pocket where we it is visible. Somewhere where if a teacher walks up and needs to identify you, you can show us your ID. It really is that simple. We are trying to make it easy. Also, remember, you do not have to wear the Okeechobee High School lanyard. That's just what comes with it. We want to give everybody a lanyard and not just an ID. So if you have a lanyard that you like, feel free to order it. Or whatever the case is, switch it out. Just make sure it's school appropriate. But this is not going away. I keep telling you that. So this week, <laughs> you're signing in. You're getting the temporary IDs. We have been running out of those each day. Please make sure you're turning them in before you leave. If you have a temporary ID, and I hope next week to not run out of temporary IDs because you have either found your permanent picture ID or you have received your new one. What you got, Dr. Hurst? Um, I just have a quick announcement for seniors. You guys will be voting soon on Miss Brandon's OHS. And I really wanted to just stress this before the voting happens. You guys are choosing someone to represent your entire class. Someone who's the most spirited, who's always present at the events, who displays a Brahmin way with their behavior, who at all times puts others first, but also is the embodiment of who the class of 2025 is. And that person has to carry that throughout this whole year and into graduation and will represent your class on that graduation stage. So before the voting goes out, I want you guys to really think and assess, like, who do you see around campus that you know has probably been nominated, but will represent your class with grace, but also be the person that is the embodiment of your entire class, both male and female, will be voted on, I believe, next week and look out for an email from Miss Hargraves for that. But really just focus on who you want to represent your class. Again, that person who's most spirited and who represents all of you and your passion here um, on our Brahmin community. Um, the second thing that we mentioned something yesterday was homecoming is almost a month away. I've heard a lot of discussions from seniors about can we start collecting pallets? Yes. <laughs> you know, start collecting those pallets and getting ready for your exciting time for the bonfire. Get ready for all of that. You'll get information about float building coming soon um, from Sergeant Gibson and from your class sponsors and all of that information. So just make sure that you are getting ready for that. And I know Miss Went said the, the guest passes will be coming soon. And remember, we have to call and vet all of those things. And then last, teachers, if there's something going on in your classroom and you want one of us to come see you, I know it's been crazy the beginning of this year, but tell us. We would love to be in your classroom, even if it's just to see something great going on. I was in Miss Daniel's room the other day with some of the projects that 3D was doing. Really great to see. So just invite us in and we'd love to be there. That's all I got. All right. Good morning, Brahmins. Uh, this afternoon, we have a few away events happening. So we have volleyball against um, Martin County, and that is starts at four for the first game. 
Uh, we have JV football at South Fork. That starts at 6. And then we have a swim meet at Lake Placid, and that starts at 5.30. So if you see any of those Brahmins walking around campus, make sure you're wishing them luck. Good luck, everyone, and have a great Thursday. Oh, Martin County. That's always a good game. Yeah, so if you can get out there and catch that tonight, and support our Brahmins. Um, that's always one of our rivals is Martin County and volleyball. So good luck to the ladies tonight. Uh, freshmen, I emailed you um, information about the homecoming dance. Um, so if you're not getting in there and checking your email regularly, you're going to miss things that I'm going to send you directly. Um, we will also put some posters up, up also around campus. Um, so all these things, homecoming, homecoming dance. I know it's all new for you. It's first time. Um, but if you have questions, please let us know. Um, I just wanted to get that information out to you. I will also send it out in the parent newsletter that will go to your parents this weekend. Um, so they'll have a chance to see um, because, you know, there, there's tickets to buy, things like that. So in regards to sell ticket, how tickets are sold here, um, you'll see someone sitting at a table um, outside what we call the elevator doors, which are the doors that go to the elevator. Um, so they're, they're kind of the north part of, um, of our building. And so that's where you'll purchase tickets. Um, you'll need to have your ID um, to pre as proof of who you are. Those tickets are just for you. They're not transferable. Um, so you'll, you'll purchase your ticket. If you're purchasing a ticket for a guest, um, the, the guest pass has to be turned into the office, approved, then you get it back, then you can purchase both tickets at once. So there is process for that if you don't understand it. And also, if you didn't turn in a Chromebook last year or the year before or any time in middle school, um, those things get tracked in Skyward and it's called fines and fees. And you probably have a $250 assessment sitting there for that Chromebook. So um, those are things that you'll have to settle up before we sell you a ticket. Um, and so just know that that's coming. Uh, the, pers the person who's selling the tickets um, will have a list. And so if you want to check before you ask mom and dad, um, you can check starting on Monday. If you think you might be on that list, um, you can check with them um, before you ask for homecoming ticket m money because uh, it might cost you a little bit more than just the $30 for the ticket. So uh, start thinking about those things. I know that our um, governing board for freshmen are meeting with their sponsors today. So I'm assuming we'll be finalizing our city for homecoming and we'll be able to get you more information after that's done. So stay tuned for that. Mrs. Kidd, what you got? Um, students, by now you probably have heard that we do have a new communication tool that we utilize to communicate with your parents called Aptigy. I would strongly advise you to encourage your parents to sign up and use it. Um, you need someone to hold you accountable to help you reach your goals. And Aptigy does a wonderful job at ensuring that that happens as you are striving towards graduation. So again, if you don't know what Aptigy is or rooms, if you heard these terminologies with your teachers, just tell your parents to reach out to your teachers and we'll get you signed up for it. Um, you'll get information not only from the school side, but also across the district. That's all I got. All right, guys. One last announcement that I have forgotten to announce all week. I am so sorry, senior class. Soka Senior is tomorrow. It is $5 to soak a senior, $10 to soak a teacher or admin. Nobody wants to soak admin. We're no fun. And you can add ice to any bucket for $5. That's a deal. So tomorrow, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. During lunches, we will be set up. All you have to do is walk up, uh, say who you want to soak. There'll be a variety of people there, and you can dump a bucket of water on their head. Wow, what a great time that will be. All right, guys, I hope everybody has a terrific Thursday as together we move forward, be great, and be Brahmins. All day. All day. All day. Hi, Brahmins. My name's Alondra, and I'm president of Beta Club. 
Hi, my name is Monica and I'm your co-vice president. Hi, I'm Lizbeth and I'm also your co-vice president. And this is Beta Club. Hey, Alton, you want to join Beta Club? What's Beta Club? It's a way to serve our community. Oh, heartbreaking. Kind. <laughs> to be a member, you must have a 2.85 GPA, be in good standing with the dean, and you must be a sophomore, junior, or a senior. Don't, Don't be an alpha, be a beta. Don't be an alpha, be a beta. Join beta club!